Apple is an undisputed leader in the tech industry, known for its pioneering innovations over the years. The latest AI products from Apple showcase their continued commitment to pushing the boundaries of technology. These cutting-edge products are designed to enhance user experiences, provide personalized services, and simplify daily tasks. With the introduction of these AI products, Apple has once again proven its ability to innovate and set new standards in the industry. Let's look closer at Apple's newest AI tool, featuring remarkable capabilities and state-of-the-art functions bound to leave a lasting impression. Apple unveils its new AI software. The Worldwide Developer Conference held by Apple every year is a significant occasion for tech enthusiasts and developers. On Monday, Apple introduced a slew of new software features for its popular gadgets, including MacBooks, iPhones, iPads, Apple Watch, Apple TV, AirPods, and the new Apple Vision Pro headset during the conference held on the 5th of June, 2023. Numerous new features from the tech giant incorporated artificial intelligence, or machine learning, as Apple speakers were sure to stress, in line with pre-event leaks and rumors. These new AI functions appear to primarily rely on device processing power, or what Apple refers to as its neural engine, rather than connecting and transmitting user data to the cloud, in keeping with Apple's previously stated dedication to user privacy and security. Let's peek at some of the most exciting features coming to Apple devices powered by AI. Apple refused to use the term artificial intelligence or AI. Instead, they used the word machine learning. In a deliberate move, Tim Cook and other Apple execs did not mention artificial intelligence once by name. Despite the technology being the current darling of Silicon Valley and Wall Street, Apple has taken a different approach, unlike other companies that repeatedly mention AI during earnings calls and developer conferences. While AI was mentioned 168 times during Microsoft, Meta, Alphabet, and Amazon's first quarter earnings calls in April, Apple has introduced various technologies that fall under the AI umbrella, such as transcriptions of voicemails and voice notes, AirPods that filter out certain sounds, and improved autocorrect. These innovative technologies are not merely labeled as AI innovations to appeal to the current hype around the term, as most other big tech companies would. Apple tends to avoid industry buzzwords, which could explain why Cook didn't mention the term metaverse as all during their keynote presentation. Apple prefers to create hype rather than follow it, as seen with the success of their MP3 players and AirPods. They also prioritize precision, accurately labeling features like personalized volume and innovative stack as machine learning rather than the vague term AI. Cook's avoidance of metaverse is consistent with Apple's approach to buzzwords, as rival companies may use the term to describe their products. Apple is less recognized than its tech counterparts, such as Microsoft and Google, regarding generative AI, but have been working on numerous AI developments over the past couple of years. Unlike other AI products like ChatGPT and Google Assistant, which have gained popularity, Siri has been unable to keep up. The AI-powered Apple Watch SOS feature has also been known to make errors. Despite this, Apple's CEO Cook seems unconcerned as the company is still profiting from the AI trend without explicitly mentioning it. One factor that may contribute to this is Apple's slow adoption of the open-source nature of AI technology. Does Siri need to catch up in terms of technological advancement? Apple must embrace AI technology, especially in improving Siri, its digital assistant. Despite being popular in the past, Siri has been receiving criticism for its lack of development. Unfortunately, Apple is no longer prioritizing improving Siri. At this year's WWDC, Siri's trigger phrase was shortened from Hey Siri to Siri, which is a slight improvement compared to the vast potential of AI language models in different fields like education and health. It's disappointing that Apple's most significant announcement for Siri is only a minor change in its wake word, which most users don't even notice. It's time for Apple to take action and catch up with the latest advancements in AI technology to improve Siri. It's essential to be careful when using software like ChatGPT, as mentioned by Cook in his GMA interview. Bias and misinformation are the potential issues associated with this type of technology. Apple, a company that values image, may be hesitant to make headlines like those generated by the launch of Bing and Bard. However, it remains to be seen how long they will stay on the sidelines and if they will prioritize VR over the more possible benefits of AI.
We'll have to wait until the next WWDC to find out and watch for machine learning mentions. Persona for Vision Pro The headliner of Apple's event, as has frequently been the case throughout the company's history, was the one more thing shown at the end. Apple Vision Pro The new augmented reality headgear, which looks like large ski goggles, enables users to see images superimposed on their vision of the actual world. The new headgear, which Apple calls its first spatial computing gadget, won't be available until early 2024 and has a stunning beginning price of $3,499. It also has a long list of outstanding functions. These support many of Apple's current mobile apps, and Mac computer interfaces can even be transformed into floating virtual windows that hover in midair. Persona, a significant advancement demonstrated by Apple on the Vision Pro, largely relies on ML. This function instantly creates an original interactive digital doppelganger by scanning the user's face using the built-in cameras. In this way, when a user dons the gadget and participates in a FaceTime chat or other video conference, a digital twin substitutes for them within the bulky helmet, mapping their expressions and actions in real time. According to Apple, the persona is a digital representation of the wearer and was created using Apple's most cutting-edge ML techniques. A better ducking autocorrect. Users of iPhones are well aware that Apple's existing built-in autocorrect tools for texting and typing may occasionally need to be more accurate and valuable, proposing terms utterly unrelated to the user's original intent. But with iOS 17, everything changes, at least in Apple's estimation. The latest iPhone operating system update includes a new autocorrect feature that uses a transformer AI model to improve its word prediction abilities. This model runs locally on the device for user privacy while the user is composing. Autocorrect now provides ideas for complete phrases and displays them in line, akin to Google's Gmail's intelligent write function. Live voicemail. The new live voicemail for the iPhone's default phone app is one of the features Apple demonstrated that seems most practical. When a caller attempts to reach a receiver using an iPhone but is unsuccessful, this function activates and a voicemail is started. As the caller continues talking, the phone app displays a text-based transcript of the voicemail in progress on the recipient's screen. It converts sounds into text in real time. Apple says the company's neural engine powers this function and occurs entirely on the device. Improved Dictation Apple's existing dictation function allows users to press the small microphone button on the default iPhone keyboard and begin speaking to convert words into written text or try to. Apple claims that iOS 17 has a new speech recognition model, likely utilizing on-device ML, that will increase dictation accuracy despite the feature's varying success rates. FaceTime Presenter Mode Apple did not reveal a new physical Apple TV box, but it launched a significant new feature, FaceTime for Apple TV. This feature uses a user's nearby iPhone or iPad as its incoming video camera and displays other FaceTime call participants on a user's TV. A presentation mode is yet another novel feature of FaceTime. By doing so, users may FaceTime with others while showing a live view of their face or head and shoulders in front of an app or computer screen. Apple has introduced a new presentation mode that offers two options for the presenter's display. The first option shrinks the presenter's face into a small circle that can be moved around the presentation material. The second option places the presenter's face in front of their content, allowing them to gesture and interact with it like a TV meteorologist using a digital weather map. Apple's neural engine powers this new presentation mode. Journal for iPhone. Are you a fan of journaling? Whether you already keep a journal or not, Apple has developed a new app that can help you reflect and practice gratitude with the help of on-device machine learning. The Apple Journal app on iOS 17 automatically imports recent photos, workouts, and other activities from your phone and presents them as an unfinished digital journal entry. You can then edit the content and add your text and multimedia. In addition, Apple is releasing a new API called Journaling Suggestions. This API allows developers to code their apps to appear as possible journal content for users. This feature could be handy for fitness, travel, and dining apps. However, it remains to be seen which companies will adopt this feature and how effectively they can implement it. Photos can now identify your cats and dogs. Apple's Photos app can now identify cats and dogs in addition to people. The app previously used on-device machine learning to organize photos by identifying people based on their appearance. 
The app can recognize our furry companions with an improved machine learning program. To access this feature, navigate to the People and Places section of the app, and you'll see mini albums for each individual or pet. This enhancement is a valuable addition allowing users to find and organize their beloved pet photos easily. Apple has entered the generative AI training hardware market and showcased its progress at the successful Worldwide Developer Conference. Despite receiving significant media attention, only time will determine the true capabilities of Apple's machine learning technology. Let us know about your thoughts in the comment section down below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more AI news.